exponential functions show us some sort of growth or decay at a certain rate of change. Our, we have in an exponential function, we have a base that is being raised to a certain power. And that base will tell us what is the rate of growth or the rate of decay, by how much is this quantity growing or decaying. Now, if that base were just equal to 1, 1 to the x, no matter what x is, if you go 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 1 million or 1,000, there will be no change. 1 to the 1 is 1, 1 to the 2 is 1. This value will always stay the same. So a base of 1 would mean no change is happening in the quantity. But if the base is greater than 1, if let's say the base were 2, then depending on the exponent, as the exponent gets larger and larger, the base is going to get larger and larger. Think about it, 2 squared and then 2 cubed down to 2 to the 1,000. This is going to be a really large value over here. If, on the other hand, the base is a number less than 1, if it is 1 half, we have exponential decay and the larger and larger x gets, the larger the exponent gets, you're multiplying a fraction by itself over and over again, it's going to become a smaller and smaller quantity. We'll go from 1 half to 1 half squared is 1 fourth, 1 half cubed is 1 eighth, and this small quantity keeps getting smaller and smaller. If we rewrite the base as 1 plus r, the r will tell us the percent or the rate of change. Uh, and sometimes it might be 1, we might have to write 1 minus r, but that r is going to indicate to us what percent is this quantity changing or growing by. So let's take a couple of examples. y equals 3 to the x. We can rewrite this base as 1 plus 2 because 1 plus 2 equals 3. And that 2 is going to be the rate of change. That 2 actually represents 200%. So if you are multiplying something by 3 each time, you are adding 200% to it each time. If we wanted to rewrite this base over here, we could rewrite it as 1 plus 0 0.75 to the x. That means we are adding 75% of a quantity to itself every time. It's growing by 75%. If we wanted to rewrite the base over here, 1 half, instead of writing it as 1 half, we could write it as 1 minus 1 half, or 1 minus 1 half is also 0 0.5 to the x. That shows us this quantity is decreasing by 50% every time. And then we have 0 0.25. We could rewrite this base as 1 minus 0 0.75 to the x, because if you subtract 0 0.75 from 1, you get 0 0.25. And this shows us that this quantity is actually decreasing by 75%, decreasing exponentially by 75%.